Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this one, I wanted to discuss what it takes to grow your consulting, coaching, or agency business to a million dollars a year, and that's $83,000 a month, uh, month on month. Uh, and I just wanna share some case studies of people that I know are doing it, people that we've helped get to that level, uh, as well as some of our biggest months and how they were created, and just sort of share with you you know, what it takes to get to that level and how we've helped a bunch of people get there and really the lessons that I've learned uh, in, in growing my business uh, to that nearly $1 million a year mark uh, by the time I'm 21, which is really cool. So actually I'm coming up in 22 next year, 21 currently. Uh, and I just share my age just so that people know, like, look, anyone can do this. You know, I think people come up with all kinds of excuses. You know, there's, there's men or women in their like 30s, 40s that think, oh, you know, like I've missed my mark or whatever. There's people that are really young, like 17, 18 years old that are in our programs that didn't think they'd be able to get results. And there's, there's no excuses, right? Uh, anybody can grow a business. Every excuse you're gonna come up with is purely in your head, but that's, that's definitely a topic for another video. So let's get into this. I just wanted to sort of share really just in talking form, uh, you know, what I've learned. Uh, you know, today is a $6,000 day in my business, uh, and it's pretty sweet. We have a lot of days like it. You know, we have the occasional ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollar day, uh, and they just kind of come in like that. You know, uh, it's it's pretty sweet. You know, we've got great offers. We help people directly grow their businesses. We we take these calls with people and, and we make them an offer if it makes sense for them. And you know, we're just always finding new people to serve, and and it's a lot of fun. And how do you get to that level? Like, how do you go from scratch or maybe even from your first? to five, 10 clients to that level. Well, I'll, I think it comes down to a few key things. And I really think it comes down to two things as I'm really processing this. And I think, I think the first one is what systems are you building or have you built that allow you to consistently get meetings with quality prospects that are excited to work with you? You know, how do you build those systems? Uh, an example of a buddy of mine that I've seen go from scratch to a million dollars a year in profit is my buddy Elliot Drake and, and his team of people, Devin Johnson. Uh, there's, there's actually a few on this team. And you can look them up. Their, their company's called Connected. It's this LinkedIn lead generation software tool. They're literally like five minutes south of me at my apartment. I've known Elliot for three years. And he and I have, you know, we, we get on the phone and we have accountability calls. And he's an incredible guy. And, you know, all they do is they just run ads to fill their sales reps calendars with demo calls where they demo the software, show them how it works. And if the prospect's interested, they book a longer format call where they get sold on a, uh, a four figure starter fee and then a monthly payment of some kind. And they do a couple hundred thousand dollars every single month. It's a very simple model, right? Uh, you know, in my business, I run ads and I put out content like this. I've got a Facebook group, Instagram, and a couple other uh, forms of getting meetings so that we can bring in people, agency owners, coaches, consultants, people with a course, whatever it is that they're trying to do, we help people scale. So we just have content out there that sits out there and gets us clients, right? Uh, you look at my client, Bastion Slot. He went from scratch, total scratch, to now he's doing over $100,000, excuse me, over $100,000 a month in profit in his business. I know these things, by the way, let me take a big step back. I know these numbers sound insane to some people, but I want, I'm trying to make the point that it's all about systems. It's all about really knowing like the numbers of, of, of your business. You know, how much do I have to spend in order to make a client? That's what my buddy Elliot looks at at his company all day. He's the CMO of his company. He was the founder, or at least was one of a few founders. He's like, all right, I'm just gonna be the CMO. I'm gonna be the marketing officer. So his favorite number to look at is what's our cost per acquisition. So they look at how much it costs to get a demo call, how many demo calls turn into sales calls, how many sales calls close. And if you notice those numbers, you just have to spend more on ads and then everything goes well, right? It's, it really is that simple. They've got a Facebook ad account. They spend $20,000 a month and they just fill the pipeline and they go crazy. They've got an incredible sales team of about 15, 20 dudes, like, you know, just college dudes. And it's a great environment. Uh, it's really cool what they've built. You know, in my own business, I've got one sales guy and we do, you know, nearly seven figures in volume yearly uh, with one dude, one guy, uh, myself and one other dude. And, uh, you know, it's a very simple system. So what I'm trying to tell you is as long as you know your numbers and you know what it takes to expand those numbers, if you know your numbers, you know what bottlenecks there are there and how to solve those bottlenecks and then how to keep the, the system flowing further, you can build your business. Uh, and it, I know that might sound overly simple, 
But that's the reality of growing a business is that it's often very simple, but we just tend to get in our own ways. You know, we'll have, for example, people who are speaking with us about getting our help and they're like the perfect fit. Like we know exactly how we're going to help them. But for some reason, they have this false belief or this idea that, you know, they're not the right type of client or, you know, that our other clients have something that they don't or something. And it's just false beliefs that hold people back from doing the things that will help their business grow. And even for myself, you know, one of the false beliefs I have, and this is just total transparency for me because I think you guys deserve this, is I have a false belief that I want people to build a team. I don't, I, I, I have this idea in my head that I'm a bad leader. Like I'm good at one-on-one -on -one relationships, but like having 10, 15, 20 people on my team, you know, really growing my business like that would be really hard. That's, that's the idea that I have in my head. The reality is I've seen people do it, you know, that honestly have studied leadership and leadership tactics and everything like that way less. They just went all in and figured it out. Uh, you know, so emotionally, I don't quite understand that yet. Logically, I do though. And you know, often we make decisions based on emotions more than anything. But not to go on too much of a tangent, I hope this point makes sense that it's all about systems and knowing your numbers, okay? If let's say you're running people through a webinar and you, and you close you know, people at the end of the webinar on something, you gotta know how many attendees it takes to make a close and what an attendee costs, okay? And, that, and then once you know those things, you can figure everything else out, right? Uh, if you are using Instagram to get clients, you know, look at how many followers you have and how many you know, sales calls you get a month or how many people message you about how they get your help, your coaching or your, your agency, your, your marketing services, whatever it is. Know your numbers. I cannot tell you how important it is to sit down and do the math and know your numbers uh, and then have just one or two very clean, easy, simple to manage processes that fill the calendar, whether it's paid or organic practices, find a way to fill the calendar. Okay, if you can do those two things, you know, you, you've got a clean system. Know your numbers and just pick one or two methods to fill the calendar. Uh, either one so that you can focus on it or two so that you have a bit of a competing environment where you can see which one does better You know in December we played with other methods of prospecting. We were uploading as much on YouTube We were playing with other ways of doing things, you know, and, and we found you know what? All right It looks like YouTube is, is the best so in January we're doing daily uploads as you can probably tell and we're like All right, we're looking for more clients We're wanting to reach these revenue marks as well as you know get more success stories under our belt and bring more value to more people and change more lives and we found you know, YouTube's the way to do it. So we looked at our numbers and made that decision. If you can look at the numbers and make decisions based on the numbers and not just feeling your way through things, you'll be a lot better. So that's the first thing. Know your numbers and have a clean prospecting system. Uh, you know, another one of my buddies, Hakeem, he does $120,000 a month with one offer. He sells a $3,500 offer helping fitness influencers grow their fitness coaching business. Uh, and it's an incredible offer and he does really well. Another one of our clients, Zach Colburn, is in that same niche and he went from like, 3,000 a month to, he's doing $50,000 a month now, right? Um, and for him, it was just a matter of like getting a better offer and building his prospecting systems out. For the most part, when people are stuck at three to 5,000 a month or at scratch, it's because they've never taken the time to sit down and do their numbers. And if, if they haven't done their numbers yet, or they haven't even taken action yet, there's no numbers to look at, right? So if they haven't sent enough you know, outreach uh, proposals, or they haven't put, put enough content out or whatever, there's no numbers to look at. So you need to make some noise Put, you know, send some messages, put out some content, run some ads, just get some noise going so you can look at those numbers and start making decisions off of it. That's what you have to do as a beginner. If you already have some clients in the door, if you've already got a bit of an audience or like a bit of a following or some form of prospecting that you use, look at the numbers and make decisions off of them, okay? Um, so hopefully that makes sense. You're welcome to message me on Instagram, at Trey Cockrum. If you have any questions about any of this, I love helping people out over there. It's a lot of fun. You can also join our Facebook group, links in the description there too. Great place to reach me as well. Uh, solid resource there too. Um, so next thing on my list of things you have to figure out in order to get to a million dollars a year um, is your offer. So a lot of people, uh, unfortunately, their offer requires just tons of manual labor. They build this offer uh, and, you know, in my agency, back when I had a just a full-fledged marketing agency, that was like the main thing I did. I just did marketing services for people. You know, I would always, the, the nature of that work would, would pretty much guarantee that every time I closed a client, I would end up having to do 10 to 20 hours of work for them. Uh, and that was just the type of work I was doing, right? So that's just to be expected. I'm running Facebook ads, I'm building funnels, I'm doing these sorts of things. Uh, and you know, I hit my first $10,000 a month doing that and it was great. I, I came very close to like a $20,000 a month 
and you know it was it was just very fluctuating and it was a lot of back and forth and it was a lot of communicating with clients and it was a lot to manage eventually the very first client i ever sold on a consulting package or a package where it didn't require me to do manual labor other than speaking with the client obviously was a ten thousand dollar package where I sold someone uh, just a funnel builder. I said, hey, over the next three months, I will show you this funnel that I've built in my business and for my clients where you can just spend money on ads to get sales calls. And they said, yep, sure, I'd love to build that, let's go. And I built it for them and they've made like, I think like $350,000 from the funnel since and they haven't even launched ads. They didn't even do the ads part, they just ran the funnel and organically, you know, they got sales calls in from it and it worked really well for them. So that's cool. Um, but that was the first time when I realized like, I don't have to do the work for my clients, whether I'm a marketing agency or whether I'm a consultant or, or whatever it is that I'm doing, you really don't have to do the work for your clients. This is this huge false belief. People think that they're giving their clients more value by doing more for them with their own hands. Whereas in reality, if, if you're equipping someone to do it themselves, in my opinion, you're actually giving them more value because then they can do it themselves forever and they don't need you. It's kind of like, you know, you can either fish or give a man a fish or teach them to fish or show them how to fish. And so like, for example, inside of our program, Seven Figure Systems, we have templates for everything, like the sales call templates, the structure of how it's supposed to go, training you on sales, the funnel, we've got literally a template where you can just download our funnel and copy it immediately, the video inside the funnel, the ads, you're gonna run ads, you're gonna scale that way, there's some templates for those, YouTube or Facebook. We've got, if you're gonna do organic prospecting, you know, models for how to film your content, how to post it, when to post it, uh, if it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever, we help you with all of that. We've got, literally one of our clients is at a million dollars a year, Johnny Vo, got to a million dollars a year just with Facebook Organic following our models. So it's like, you know, we have the templates. And frankly, if I were doing that for these people, there's no way I could have helped as many people, uh, you know, made as much money, had as much impact as, you know, just showing them how to do it and giving them clear cut templates for doing it themselves. So that's, that's my theory. And I think it's something that I would encourage you to adopt as well is that by helping your clients do it and turning it into a workflow that they can implement, you're actually making it way easier for them to succeed. You might think you're making them spend more time or, or, or you know, like waste their time doing it themselves. And they might think that too. But my case is always, look, I want to show you how to do this yourself so that you don't need me. Okay. And you can develop great relationships with the client this way. This is an amazing way to avoid crazy disputes because often, even though I've got a great system for my clients, you know, you may know this, whether you're a marketing agency or you are some other form of coach or consultant or whatever, you know, you may, you may notice that when you work with the client on a done for you level, meaning you come in and you do the work for them, even if you have proven the template and it works for tons of other clients, this client may some, may have some issue that you can't fix without changing their entire business model. And it's just not worth it, uh, to do that for them. And so you realize, all right, Maybe instead of you know, uh, doing it for them, I should just show them how to do it and then they can make the adjustments themselves on their, on their own fruition instead of doing it because I need them to because I want to keep the retainer or whatever. Uh, so it's way easier to get results for clients when you're just showing them how to do it and you turn it into a clear template, a clear workflow and give them guidance and support and, and hold their hand through the process. It's way easier because then they can sustain those results. So those are the two things that I've noticed Every single million dollar a year earner that I know or that I've coached and gotten there has those things in place. Myself, I have those things in place. You have to build a business that doesn't require you to do more work when you make a sale because instead of it looping in a positive direction, meaning you get a client, you get them results, so you get more clients, so you get them results, so you get more clients, you know, it, it kind of just spirals out of control because people see the results that you're getting and they want to be a part of what you have. It almost goes the opposite direction where you get a client and then that commits you to more time and then it's harder to get results for the rest of your clients and then you get another client and then it commits you more time and it's, it gets harder and harder and harder to get results, not easier. And so you just get this cap that just destroys your business forever. So that's one of the things we do inside of Seven Figure Systems is we help you build an offer worth at least $3,000. I believe that everybody has an offer that they can sell where a client will be happy that it's worth at least $3,000 that doesn't commit them to anything other than maybe an onboarding call. Okay, and, that, and that's how we build this thing out. This is how we've gotten our clients to such crazy levels. So that's what I've noticed is what it takes to get to a million dollars a year as an agency owner in SMMA or coaching or whatever it is that you want to call it, you know, essentially selling services to business owners no matter what your niche is. 
So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, massively consider scheduling a call down below until you get actual help growing your business. You know, you're running off of like random YouTube recordings and maybe some books and you aren't getting actual expert help in the trenches in your business, helping you make decisions that move you toward your goals. You're kind of just running off of you know, what random people are saying online. Until you go all in with somebody, you really don't know what you're supposed to do. And that's a really bad place to be if you're, if you're wanting to grow uh, to the level that I'm discussing in this video, or even just 2X your business from 5,000 a month to 10,000 a month, or even just get your first client. Whatever it is, you know, we've helped people like you, I guarantee we've taken over 1,500 calls at this point. And pretty much every single one, you know, was in a place where we, at this point, we know what people need, right? We know what people need in order to succeed. We've worked with over 500 people, so it's, it's a pretty cool thing. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Schedule your call down below. Join our Facebook group and follow me on Instagram if you need anything, any questions at all. Love helping people succeed. At the end of the day, I would do this for free if I could. I love helping business owners. I love seeing people succeed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.